have here is a hydrogen fuel cell. This is uh, two little small beaker cylinders uh, that have uh, measured in milliliters. You have it at zero here, so there's negative and then there's positive. This side is labeled hydrogen. This side is labeled oxygen, black and red. What we have here is an actual fuel cell. The fuel cell is filled with water and capped on both ends, and then you attach it to the different leads. There's a separate container on the inside that it looks like a bell, and that holds water on the inside. So what will happen is when we introduce electricity in the form of the battery to the fuel cell, it will start a process of electrolysis. The electrolysis will separate the hydrogen and the uh, oxygen atoms, and this side will fill with hydrogen, and this side will fill with oxygen. As hydrogen is H, water is H2O, there should be twice the amount of hydrogen that there is of the oxygen. So let's turn this on and see if this works. There's the negative lead here on this side, and the oxygen has the positive lead on the other side. We switch the on switch, and immediately you'll start to notice that air is being introduced into the system and the bell jar on the inside is filling with air. So let's wait and watch to see this happen. You can also noticeably tell from the hatch marks here how much faster the hydrogen is filling up than the oxygen. We're already at more than five milliliters and barely two on the oxygen. So we'll be ready to reverse the experiment and use the hydrogen fuel cell as soon as this cylinder fills up with hydrogen. We will know it's full of hydrogen when it starts to release bubbles from the bottom and they'll actually bubble up to the top. In a previous experiment done we actually used a match and those bubbles were uh, burning as they burst but because this is plastic it's not safe enough to get the bubbles uh, to introduce a flame there. So here we go, we're getting close. So we currently have 12 milliliters of hydrogen and about six of the oxygen. So that really jobs with what we know about water. And look here, we have, these are hydrogen bubbles bubbling up. Because the bottom of the bell jar, there's an escape. So not, there's only so much air that can fit, fit in there so it doesn't release, there's some release. So now that it's bubbling, we know that we have a store of hydrogen and all the gas that's stored on this side is hydrogen and this side will be oxygen. So I'm going to turn off the power and this will stop the electrolysis. Disconnecting our, this is just two AA batteries. Now to show how hydrogen fuel cell works and that it actually makes power, I'm going to attach a little motor. This is a motor that's just a little fan. Now what will be happening is the hydrogen will be coming into the fuel cell on one side and the oxygen will be coming into the fuel cell on the other side and they're going to meet in the middle at the PEM and the bypass circuit will create electricity. So here you can see that if we wait long enough that we'll see the hydrogen level start to go back down as the hydrogen is consumed that we have already created and stored up. And there you have it. That is a hydrogen fuel cell in action.
Okay, now we've decided to introduce a voltmeter to this to actually measure how much volts this uh, is producing. So, there we go. All right, we're going to check the meter, and it's showing us 0.93, pretty consistent volts of electricity being produced here. So, there you go, it really is producing electricity, and that is hydrogen fuel cells.